Welcome back to the channel my friends intro to a music video is usually one of the most important parts of the entire video it sets the tone for what you're trying to get across now you can use these tips even if you aren't making a video if you are just looking for some animated creative title looks we've got some cool stuff throughout this entire video that you guys can definitely use but I'm just going to be talking about it within a music video context so let's get right into the tutorial before I do I just want to say if you guys are new here consider subscribing if you guys enjoy the content please consider leaving a like to help the growth of the channel anyways let's get right into it so now Number one, the first little look I'm going to show you is this little cool, is this little animated design look we have going here. So what we have is solid text in the middle going along with this outline text popping in and out above or to the side. Also, I say this in so many of my videos, please don't take everything I'm saying as a step-by-step -step way to do something. Apply your own individuality to what I'm teaching you, mix things around, change things around. There's so many different ways to do things than just what I'm showing you. So this is what we're going to create first. You may also recognize this really cool titles here with the background in 3D. As a whole, I actually really love this video. I think they did a great job this one they have a blinking x just to kind of add some more contrast to the color and make the middle pop more but you still have this general idea going on so let's go ahead and create this within after effects now you can do it within premiere but i think it's a little bit easier within after effects to create all these titles for more of the preset or effect animations we're going to stick with premiere but let's start with after effects for this first one so i'm going to go ahead and create a transparent video within adobe premiere and then i'm going to drag that out to be about 30 seconds and of course if you have some footage that you want to overlay this over the reason why we're doing this on a transparent video is we can right click this replace with after effects comp and then edit the text within after effects and that way after the fact you can go back into premiere put any intro footage here and the text will be overlaid on top which is really great and useful so it's pretty simple just go ahead and grab your text tool and go ahead and draw in and write whatever you want i'm just going to go with my name and of course you guys can choose any stylized text that you would like whatever you want I think that this usually looks a lot better when using this kind of bold and blocky text so we'll place this relatively in the center here and then what we're going to do is select your layer and click Control D to duplicate that and then you can go in and you can open up your settings here your transform settings you can take the position and you can just drag that slider up just like this and now we can just keep repeating that so Control D on that duplication open up your transform and then drag the position up I'm gonna do the same thing you can control D to duplicate open up your transform lower the position now what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and select our duplications here and you're going to want to come over to the character window now if you don't see this you may need to go up to window and just make sure it's checked here or what you can do is go to workspace and just make sure default is checked we're going to go ahead and double click on our layer to highlight the actual um, duplicated layers and then we're going to come over to character you're going to see these two little boxes here this is for fill color this is for stroke color you can just click this little arrow to swap between the two and that will switch that to be outline text text just like that so let's actually do that with all these just click this little arrow up here just like that and then what I like to do once we've done that is I'll grab the original the bold text that we want to actually pop out I'll go back to my transform and then I'll just scale that up a bit and I'll center that a little bit more so that looks pretty cool now let's just add a simple little animation it's very very easy to do this um, a way to make this easier is what I like to do make sure that these layers organize in the correct fashion so my top layer my second layer third layer and fourth layer so just take these layers drag them a little bit to the right so for this I move four frames so clicking page down on your keyboard one two three four times let's do that another four times one two three four grab your second layer and start that at your timeline here let's move another four to our right so page down one two three four grab your next layer drag that so it pops in here and then one two three four grab your last layer and start it there so just doing that here's a simple little animation that we created just easy little pop-ins and of course you guys can add any little preset effects on top of this to make it more flashy check out my online store if you want some more cool little creative things to add a twist onto this another great thing is if you guys are more of a premiere person than after effects person person using that method that i showed you at the beginning with the transparent video you can just click file save hop back into premiere and with the dynamic link that'll pop up let's bring footage here just to show you what i'm talking about you can see with the text on top now if you're getting this issue here where the outline is a little bit too hard to see over top of your footage and hop back into after effects select your text here come back to character and then you'll have your thickness of the line these three little lines here it shows your pixels usually i'll just make that two or even three pixels so let's do that for everything click here 
three pixels, file save. And if you wanna add a little bit more contrast, like how they did in that nightmares video, you can make your main text a different color from your outline. So instead of having that kind of cyberpunk um, reddish, reddish pink, let's go with the inverse of that, which is this nice light blue cyan, and then we'll file save that. And like I said, if you want to add any presets or effects, for example, this flicker preset, which is available on my online store, you can drag and drop that on there just like that to get some really cool looks. Next creative title, and this one is pretty cool. This one is universally recognizable between a lot of people watching this. And this is creating this awesome movie-like title. And you can change around a lot of the different elements. Of course, it's cool for the credits because you can actually put all of the names in here. And it takes up a good amount of the screen, so it looks pretty cool. So a way where we can create this, you're going to need Photoshop. And all you need to do is just look up movie title Photoshop template. I'm going to put these two links in the description. Enter your email, click and get that template, go and check your email out, and then go ahead and open up that folder. So you have README and then Photoshop image, just double click that, open that up with Photoshop. Also comes with the fonts and everything, which is pretty nice. So you don't have to go and download them. If you don't like the look of the text, you can just go and find some other movie like font. Okay, so here we are, and they give you two options. They give you black text on a white background or white text on a black background. Now what you can do, choose whichever look you like. I'm gonna go with the white text. Open up that folder of layers, and then you can go ahead and just hide this image layer here. And then you can start selecting each individual element to customize it to your liking. So pretty easy, just grab the text tool, change the names. I'm not gonna go through and edit this entire thing, but also if you want to add some other element like that rights reserve thing, something like this, you can just copy it, go back into Photoshop, control V to paste that in there. And if you're only trying to grab this, you can just go like that, select inverse delete, and then select deselect and there you go control t to transform that place that where you'd like once you've customized that you go to file save as save that as a png so that you can get that transparent background once you saved it as a png you can close photoshop hop back into premiere or after effects and then just drag and drop in the actual png you might have to right click it scale it to frame size just like that okay next tip for our animated creative title looks pretty simple Draw in some normal text. We're going to select it. We're going to center it in our effect controls. Now these next few tips are just going to be things you can add on top of normal font to make it a lot better. So one of the more popular ones, something like the Ecto effect, which is in the Regine Universe plugin pack. I'll have a link to that below. If you don't want to spend money on that preset pack, you guys can go and pick up Video Copilot Saber for After Effects, which is, which is a very similar thing and it's for free. So if you're interested in Saber, which is the free version or Ecto, I'll leave a link to my Saber tutorial where you guys can check out all of that. I'm just going to show you Ecto. It's really great to pick up this pack because you can get it in Premiere or After Effects. So if you're just trying to put up something quick in Premiere, you can just drag and drop it and then work within your effect controls. Um, this is a little bit too much glow, so we'll just drop it. And then of course you can click browse presets and they have a lot of preset looks. A lot of people have been using this recently, so I recommend you add some spin onto this. They can change it up. Maybe just add some preset effects or some animation looks onto here. I'm gonna add a little turbulent displace effect onto here. We'll go up to our effect controls and let's go ahead and start the amount at zero. Keyframe it, let's keyframe all of this actually so that we can get our animation going drag a bit and then we'll just boost these up you guys can mess around with any of these different looks and sliders you're always going to get something different complexity we'll put that at maybe like 1.5 uh maybe not oh that's 10 we'll put it 1.5 so plugged in some random numbers, let's drag to the end and then we're just going to click this little reset button for all of these keyframes so that it'll go back to the, so that it'll go back to normal at the very end. And then we can select all those keyframes, drag that to the end. And now what we can do is we can actually select all of the beginning keyframes here right click them go to temporal interpolation and go to ease in this basically is just adding some more like smoothness to the animation so it's not so rough you can select all the middle keyframes put that on something like audio auto bezier and then you can select all of the end keyframes right click 
and put them on ease out now for some reason this isn't really working here just from the placing of these so what i can do is just control c on that turbulent displays and then delete it because it's messing up our clip just so there's no conflicting elements going on here i'll nest it and then i'll select my nested sequence and then paste the animation and there you go that way we get nice animation now this clip is a little bit too long so the animation is taking a little bit too long to work out so i'll control z to undo that and i'll just make this a little bit shorter you go a nice little animation just some moving text you guys can do whatever you want here if you don't want to add your own custom animation using the keyframes or any other effect with animations i recommend you guys look into some presets there's some really great animation plugins in after effects which you can use that have some preset looks and some motion tools to help with the overall movement of the text you can find a bunch of them for free all over the internet hopefully these will save you time because i think it's just a lot easier to grab a preset for something like this so in the description, I'll leave a bunch of great places and great sites for free for free animation text presets or some cheap animation text presets. So that was look slash tip number four. Tip number five is we're going to create some 3D text. So let's start anew again. So what I'm gonna do is I'll bring in another transparent video like this, right click it, replace it with an After Effects comp, with an After Effects comp, or you can just start with an After Effects and then render out a transparent. We'll delete the transparent video and we'll go ahead and place some text. So draw it here. Now we're going to go ahead and let's type our text like normal. Center this. And we're gonna use Element 3D for this 3D text tutorial. So we're gonna go to New, Solid, and we'll drop Element onto there. Another great reason why you guys should pick up Element 3D now with element 3d and our text layer we can go up to our custom layers custom text and masks and for our path layer one we can select our text layer here and then we can go into our scene setup and we can click extrude and that creates some 3d text within element 3d just like that when you first select it you'll see bevel scale you can bump that or lower that if you want to add more depth to the 3d so let's lower that a bit and this is pretty decent 3d now if you do have video copilot or any other little um or any other little shaders textures etc etc built in you can drop them on there to get a nice little start on the design or look of your text so i'll go ahead and drop this um, paint red texture on here click ok then we can go ahead and hide this text layer now the cool thing about this 3d text and doing it with element 3d is you can right click down here go to new and camera and then you can use the C key on your keyboard to actually rotate that camera to create some custom animations with the text. Now I've done this in a lot of music videos. It looks really cool. And of course you can design this text however you like, but you can go ahead and open up your camera and for your transform, just keyframe all that at your starting position, move a bit forward. And then let's click C to get to our move forward and backward tool. And then we'll just zoom in like that. And you can get some really awesome 3d looks with these going on here. If you want to add more, if you want to see more of that 3D depth, so maybe rotate it a bit like this. There you go. You get some really awesome stuff. You can, of course, fly through the letters, which is really awesome. And then in terms of actually customizing the look, you just select your solid layer. Let's name that to 3D text. If you want, you can add any effects within After Effects or you can file save it. And since we're using a dynamic link like I showed you before, we can add anything into Premiere as well. So let's go ahead and just lower the opacity a bit. Of course, like I said, you could do this with an After Effects as well. You just go to transform, lower the opacity. There's a bunch of motion graphics tutorials and design tutorials out there too for Photoshop and After Effects. So even if you're just doing music videos and you're completely lost, I recommend you just look into some design tutorials in Photoshop and you can learn a lot of cool stuff on how to make some really interesting looking titles. To end this off, I just want to show you this little video because it's an awesome little title sequence um, from the movie Enter the Voids. So here's where things start getting crazy. <clears throat> So you can see so many different styles being used here. The music is awesome. It fits this really well. And it's just a really explosive, awesome title sequence, in my opinion. Maybe a little bit too flashy, but for if you know about the movie that it's for, Enter the Void, I think it's pretty fitting. So some cool design and styling of the text mixed with some crazy flashing, some good graphic design, and you can get some really awesome stuff so don't think in so don't think too into it if you want to go crazy have 3d go ahead and do that if you want to keep it simple if you want to keep it nice and organized professional go ahead and do that it depends on the project 
Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you did enjoy. Thank you guys so much for supporting, and I'll see you guys in the next one.